Latrice, life always has a way of humbling you. Just when you think you have things figured out, here comes life adding some razzle-dazzle where you didn't ask for it at. Ugh, another sad date, another wasted outfit. But at least I got to break in my new heels, so all is not lost. I sometimes like to go to this aquarium when I need to clear my mind. The fish remind me that there's beauty in the journey, also that things could be worse. I could be trapped in a damn tank. <laughs> I don't ask for much, nor do I expect much. I just want the simple things. Someone who respects me and that will reciprocate the care and concern that I give. Someone who is spontaneous at times and then likes to be pampered here and there as I do. We both need to have our own bags because two bags are better than one and my person has to have control of their ego. If I meet another, yes, I have a BMW and I work for a Fortune 500 company, but leave out the newly divorced with a baby on the way and with deep mommy and daddy issues, I'ma lose my shit. Ugh, I need a drink. This place has the cutest little bar and it's never anyone there, almost like no one knows about it but me, which I love. No, I don't normally drink after a date, but this one called for it. This guy was perfect on the outside, which I normally shy away from. I don't know about you, but I need to see at least one flaw on the outside. If you're perfect on the outside, that means all your flaws are on the inside and that's frightening to me. Everything started off well enough, a nice simple lunch date at Cooper's Hawk, but halfway through he asked me my thoughts on poly relationships. Now I don't have a problem with people liking other Kool-Aid flavors, but you can't get upset because I just like red and you like red, purple, orange, and blueberry. This man told me in my favorite restaurant that my not being open to the idea of poly relationships is the reason why so many women are single now. The nerve, right? I took a sip of my second glass of Prosecco and I began to gather my things. He was sitting there looking dumb and asked where I was going and I replied, home, as I gently placed my glass back on the table. I politely thanked him for the experience and told him to have the day he deserves and got up. I'm not wasting my energy on anyone who has so quickly proven themselves not worthy of it. I picked up two bottles of Prosecco on my way out because I'd never leave Cooper Talk without it and I headed to my car. I know what y'all thinking and no. I haven't lost hope in the idea of dating, but damn universe, you show is testing my gangster. I know with someone out there that parents raised them right, waiting to bump into little old me. Ugh, let me head to my car and go home. These hills have about 30 more minutes before they turn into a nightmare. Life is indeed what you make it. Mm. Focus, Latrice. Of course, this elevator won't take forever to close. Come on. Uh, uh, wait, did he turn? No, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm glad it's not cold outside. This is the perfect window down weather. Come on, stilettos. We just got to make it to the car. I never regret any dates I go on, but the lessons are adding up. And damn, I'm, I'm ready to graduate. I did not sign up for all of this, but I'm going to tell y'all, I eat for some frogs because I know they are just getting me ready to kiss my cane. Mm-hmm. I said in my cane. Uh, I'm staying positive, y'all. Staying positive. Well, thank you once again, Lux Aquarium, for the drink and the view.